God bottled all your tears. The worst days are behind you. No more Job days. You hear me? For those of you who this is for, you've just been through a lot. You've been through constant cycles of abuse since childhood. Whether this be emotional, mental, physical, spiritual. People would downplay mental and emotional abuse that haven't been through it and don't realize that sometimes this can be even more detrimental than physical abuse. And a lot of times physical abuse, the most detrimental aspect of it is not necessarily all the time what happened physically, but the mental and emotional damage that resulted because of the abuse. Some of you have been through cycles of this. It started in childhood and it set you up to get abused by other abusers your entire life because that was familiar energy and that's all you knew. You've cried many tears. You've been betrayed many times. You've opened your heart just to get your heart stabbed. You've given your heart and your genuineness to people just for them to stomp on it. You've casted your pearl before swine. The Bible tells us do not cast your pearls before swine lest they turn to attack you and trample them under their feet. This has happened to you multiple times, time and time and time and time again. So many times you are almost in a space now to where you can't fathom a different experience. And some of you, the funniest thing about it is some of you have had opportunities open up in your life that is a different experience, but you don't believe it. It could be, for instance, a person. I did a video that I highly recommend for you to check out if this resonates that I'm going to link above. But for some of you, this could simply be a person that is not going to hurt you a person who truly loves you, a person who's sent by God, almost a person who, if I'm going to be honest, is sent as a gift because of everything that you've been through. A person that is like, this is too good to be true because I've never been treated like this before. I've done everything to be loved by my own parents. I've done everything to be loved by my ex relationships or my spouses or by this and by that. And all of those people never loved me. So why does this person love me? I haven't even done half of anything to prove anything to this person and they love me. Some of you have haven't been able to receive that or might have a hard time receiving that when it first comes in just because you're not used to that and you don't believe it because it was always so hard to extract love from people around you because for one you never got that consistent love or love at all from the people who raised you from your own parents from your own caretakers every tear you cried was not in vain God bottled all your tears for some of you even if you had an experience in the recent past that made you cry even if you're watching this you're like oh my god somebody just triggered me to the point where I cried pretty much I cried and I felt that pain in my heart. I was, I'm was i so angry that person made me cry, but it hurt. Even if you felt that way recently, let me tell you. 333 in as I said that, 444-222-1111-1010. If you've been seeing those numbers, 888-808, this is for you. The last tears that you shed is gonna be the last tears that you shed in a very long time. And I say a very long time because things happen. You could go hiking and fall and scrape your knee and it could make you cry, maybe it hurt like, ah. Or things happen, people that we love, transition, and just all types of things. Some of you, it ain't even gonna be that. Some of you is just gonna be crying from sitting in the corner like, I can't believe I'm so successful. Oh my God, like, I can't believe I'm living the life of my dreams. Some of you is gonna be tears of joy, but my whole point of saying this is, if you cry recently, that's gonna be the last set of tears that you cry in a very long time because those days are over. The worst is literally behind you. Every single tear that you cried, all of those tears have been bottled up and that's gonna be now pouring on to you. Think about all the tears you cried. God about to take that same bottle and pour it over your head. Them tears gonna turn into rain showers and rain flowers of blessings. Every tear that you shed is a blessing coming for that. If you've had a lot of tears, even if you the type of person where you like, I don't cry on the outside, but you've cried on the inside. What's that Jay-Z song? I can't see it coming down my eyes, so I gotta make the song cry. That's how I used to feel. I used to hate, like I didn't used to cry. Like when I was younger, this is a side note. When I was younger, if I cry, run. Get out the way. The bull is coming. I'm vexed. Tears of anger used to be when I would cry. Over years of healing and going through the process and 30 days to success and things of that nature, I've cried. I definitely cry. Like, I'll cry. I've definitely, at this point in my life, been able to shed many tears. And they were very therapeutic, especially being a person that in my youth, and my younger years, I wasn't able to cry. A lot of the pain that I felt got expressed in, as anger, which I'm sure some of you and a lot of you relate to. The thing about this is, the worst is behind you, baby. All them tears are about to rain down on you in terms of melodies from heaven. 
Rain down on me. Rain down on me. Melodies from heaven. Rain down on me. Rain down on me. Feed me with that precious Holy Ghost. Rain down on me. Rain down on me. It's easy one to be seen for that one. The thing is, all of them tears, rain showers of blessings, straight up. The worst is behind you. And this is a time where you're literally stepping into your latter days. For those of you who you notice your season and some of you have been even getting this word prophetically and you're like, but why doesn't it happen? Why don't I feel that way? That's the key word. You don't feel that way. It's not that it's not happening. You just haven't mentally and emotionally and physically been able to catch up with the new season. You're not dealing with Decepticons anymore. You don't have wolves and sheep clothing. You're not dealing with snakes. You got somebody who really loves you. You got genuine friends. You got a business that's going to prosper. You have a career that you're going to be able to see the test of time and really retire with. But you don't recognize it and you don't receive it as that because you still have memories of trauma from the past. So even though it's there, even though it's available, you're just not, you haven't been fully realizing it. You haven't been seeing what it is in front of your face, but it's okay. Stay patient with the process. It's another video I did about that as well well that I'm going to link. Stay patient with the process and you're going to see that indeed you're already in your promised land. You're already in your latter days. Things to get better from here is only up from here. If you are a person who you feel like you're stuck or you're like, man, I know what the most high is saying to me prophetically. I know this is my latter days, but why don't I feel it? Why don't I see it? There's a beautiful course that is going to be able to help you to see things from the eyes of the most high and it's called 30 days to success. And the reason I say that is because it's going to help you to break through the mental barriers, through those emotional barriers, through that trauma that is stored in your body. All of that is embedded and encoded in this 30 days to success course that you can access for a pre-sale price on prettybosstv.academy. This is a process that if you're not new here, all through 2023, we did 30 days to success on Patreon daily. What we did on Patreon is just a small reflection of the complete comprehensive nature of 30 days to success course that I've created that is now available for you. If you would like access to that, visit prettybosstv.academy and allow that personal blueprint that you get by the end of those 30 days to help you realize and walk you right into the full realization of your promised land that's already before you. Also, if you would like to book personal prophetic guidance with me, you can do that on prettybosstv.com. I love to help. I'm always here for it. And if you would like to join our membership community of like-minded, like-hearted people just like yourself, where we work together, we build each other up. We do daily prophetic guidance to help all of us stay in alignment with the most high, with our purpose and with ourselves. Then come join the family on patreon.com slash prettybosstv. Have a very blessed day, night, week, weekend, wherever you are. I talk to you soon, y'all willing. Until next time, peace. Thank you.